Hey, Mark Oldman coming at you from California. Arguably the tequila epicenter of the United States. And in general, we Americans are loving tequila more and more. I'm actually teaching tequila at the Food Network South Beach Food and Wine Festival with uh, the great Food Network chef, Marcella Valladolid. And I'll also be teaching at the Ixtapa Zihuatanejo Festival down in Mexico in March. So I'm in the perfect position to dispel for you many myths people have about tequila. So watch ahead and I'm going to turn you into a tequila hound. All tequilas for shot slamming. No, 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 no. Listen, there are tequilas out there, we're gonna go over three types, that are nuanced, sophisticated, they usually come from 100% blue agave, which is the plant that tequila is distilled from, but it's all, we've, it's like Virginia Slims, we've come a long way, baby, from the mixto tequilas that give you that nasty hangover. There are wonderful sipping tequilas out there. If you really want to be a tequila insider, don't use a shot glass or even a cabolito, which is one of those longer shot glasses. Use something the insiders use, which is it's almost like a small snifter glass. Uh, Julio gave me this at Tommy's Margarita in San Francisco, beloved by San Franciscans and cocktailers. This is kind of the glass you should use. It'll allow the vapors to collect and you could really get a good smell of your tequila. If you don't have a glass like this, a champagne tulip or a champagne flute will do the trick. Lick, shoot, bite, is it necessary? It is not. In fact, real tequila insiders aren't licking the salt, shooting the tequila, and biting the lime. They are taking their tequila straight up because they want to enjoy the nuances of a fine tequila. What some insiders like to do is after they drink their tequila, they use sangrita, which is kind of a mixture of orange juice, tomato juice, and some pepper in there. Tequila doesn't have to be rich and heavy and kind of sweet. In fact, the blanco or silver variety of tequila is refreshing, so refreshing that I liken it to the Sauvignon Blanc of tequila, meaning that it's more citrusy and light and pure tasting. Um, a good example of this is Isha, which I recently found in Southern California. Uh, all tequila is from Mexico, but those Southern Californians really know their tequila, and I found this in a specialty shop. Look how pure that looks. Blanco or silver tequila is going to be completely clear looking and clear tasting because it's not aged in oak barrels or it's just barely aged in oak barrels. So you smell this, mm, it has a peppery, floral, and almost like a dirty martini. It has this botanic or vegetal smell, an incredibly clean taste. For those who worry that a lot of tequila is harsh or it can be very acidic, it's not so. In addition to Blanco, there's Reposato, uh, we call it Repo, insiders call it Repo. Um, no, I'm not talking about an 80s movie with Emilio Estevez, that's Repo. Uh, but check this out, this is a Repo, this is the 1414, and you can see it's deeper in color here, and deeper than the Blanco. And that's because unlike the Blanco, Blanco hasn't been aged in oak barrels. This gets two months to a year in oak barrel. You can see a bit of color in there, and it's got a little bit more personality and a little bit less of the agave, the natural agave smell to it. And again, one's not better than the other. It's just more of a stylistic preference a little bit of caramel, and you taste it, and it's still very clean. So, Reposato, or Repo, this is a nice cross between a very clean Blanco and what we're getting to now, Añejo. 
This is Añejo tequila, and it's one of the richer styles of tequila. Añejo means it's been aged for a year to three years in oak, and thus it's got the color and the taste to prove it. So what I'll show you here is even more color and when you smell it that's when okay perfect that's when we get the butterscotch the vanilla this is more the style of tequila for people who like their Chardonnay really oaked up tequila is a depressant mm, well with my apologies to scientists I'm gonna have to go ahead and say that that's a myth now, technically, tequila is alcohol, so yeah, it's a depressant. But uh, I think for you, and for me, and for our friends, it's a stimulant. It makes people happy, it's uplifting. Maybe it has something to do with the fact that it's distilled from a plant, where most other types of alcohol are distilled from grains. Uh, but you know what? Tequila's depressant, let's just call that a myth. Some say tequila doesn't have its own toast. Not true. This is what the insiders do and follow along with me. They go, arriba, up above, abajo, down below, a centro, in the center, and then finally, par dentro, down the hatch. Delicious. I'm Mark Oldman with tequila, telling you my compadres always drink bravely and push it.